All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am talking about what cars I will not review. So if you guys didn't know here on my YouTube channel, a majority of what I do is car reviews. Now there's a couple rotary videos sprinkled in there, a little bit less so because it's been cold out, but pretty much what I do is car reviews. That's why I tell people I do. And so through that, a lot of the cars that I get are either from a dealership or they're from a viewer like you. Now dealership cars, I kind of get to pick what I want. So I'm not talking about that right now. What I will be talking about is the vehicles that I have been offered and what it takes for me to turn down a vehicle. So I wanna make this video because Doug DeMiro put out a video not too long ago saying, oh, you know, why he won't review a modified car, why modified cars he won't touch. And to a point, I understand where he was coming from, but I am definitely a lot more relaxed. And people are sometimes hesitant to say, oh, would you wanna review this? Would you wanna review that? So I'm gonna set a little bit of the record straight today. Number one, the vehicle must be mechanically sound. And the reason I say that, because I have gained the skill of keeping a car alive when it really wants to die at a stoplight and ruin my day. Um, owning RX-7s and the Model A and just crappy cars in general, you kind of pick up that skill on how to keep something alive to get it home. That being said, I don't want to be fighting a car while it's on camera, and I also don't don't want people to comment or pick a car apart or not listen to what I have to say because a car isn't mechanically sound. When I drive an older, let's just say an E36 M3, I was actually offered one to review, but it wasn't in good running condition. It had a really bad misfire and just overall was not well maintained and needed a fair amount of work. I didn't review that car because I didn't want to say in the video, oh, this car is slow and really not smooth because I've driven E36 M3s and they're incredibly smooth when they actually run properly. So I didn't want to drive it and film it and say, oh, this isn't smooth, oh, it's really slow, because that's not the true showing of the M3. That's just that one particular car that had like 206,000 miles on it, you know, 18 owners, things like that. So, number one, the number one reason I'll turn down a car is mechanical. And so if your car has a mechanical issue, I would recommend either holding off from offering it or say, hey, this car has a mechanical issue, I am working to fix it. When it is fixed and running properly again, I will re-email you and then that would be perfect. That, that would be very much appreciated and recommended. The second reason I won't review a car is because I have already reviewed it or something very similar. Now, the original reason why I started putting the years for the car in the title title of the video from the very get-go was I always thought, oh, I could always re-review this car, just do one year difference, two year difference, whatever. And I still will. But mainly, I wanna try to avoid overlapping or repeating myself too much. If I drive, let's just stick with the E36 M3. If I drive eight different E36 M3s, they're all gonna be very, very similar, if not the same experience, and so I should say the same thing. Now, one caveat to that, and one time that I would re-review a car, or re actually review a similar car, would be if it's been a very long time. For instance, the very first review I ever posted was of my 1998 Dodge Ram at the time. I recently, last year, I re-reviewed another second gen Dodge Ram because it had been five years since that video came out and obviously I was 17 or 18 years old when I made that first review and I was 22 when I made the second one. So time had changed and my opinions had changed. Not drastically, but they had changed enough where I had driven like some two, 300 cars in between and gotten a better feel for what trucks should feel like so I could gauge it a little bit better. Another addition, like a B part of this segment of what cars I won't re-review is I won't re-review the exact same car without an aspiration change or an engine swap. So, for instance, I did re-review the Volvo 240 that was originally turboed on the original motor and then got an LS swap to a big V8. I did re-review that car because it was a big change. It changed almost all the characteristics of the car, adding the V8. I've had people say to me, oh, you know, you reviewed my car in the past. I just got new bumpers and new wheels for it and new coilovers. I think you should re-review it. 
that's not really the grounds for a re-review, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but I just can't do reviews of every time you change the wheels or the little interior lights. It doesn't really justify an entirely new video. So the reason I say that is that if you are offering up a car, but you have big plans for it, like you want to do wheels or you want to do suspension or whatever it is, However you want the car to show up in the video is how it should be offered. Because unfortunately, I can't come back and re-review it once you get better wheels. Now, going off of that, if you just picked up a car and say, oh, I want a turbo and I want to do all this, message me first because I might want to drive it in its stock form. Uh, for instance, I have a prospect of a, a, a JDM classic car this summer and the owner wants to put a built motor into it. Well, I'd like to drive it with the stock motor because I hadn't driven that kind of car before. So hopefully I'll be able to get my butt in the seat of a stock car. And then once it's built again, engine swap, turbo swap, um, it, it could be up for re-review at some point in the future. Other things I will not be reviewing is motorcycles. I have no intention of ever riding a motorcycle it's just not for me. However, I'm not saying that motorcycle reviews are not coming to the channel. I'm actually working on a way to get motorcycles reviewed on the channel. It wouldn't be by me personally, but I would be producing, editing, and filming the videos. I would just have someone else who's more knowledgeable about motorcycles doing so. And if that happens, I'll update you guys on the channel, of course. I also won't review cars that are not legally insured or legally registered, obviously just for safety and legality reasons. So that's it. That's my little video on what vehicles I will not touch, what vehicles I won't review. But if your car does not fall under any of those categories, please shoot me an email. If you're open to me reviewing it, pradlereviews at gmail.com can also be found in the description below as well as up on the screen. Shoot me an email no matter where you are. I fly and drive all over the country. I'll probably get to you at some point. So shoot me an email, send me those offers, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.